Welcome back to Squawk New York, introducing a bill that would amend old antitrust laws and make it easier for lawsuits to be brought against big tech companies. Uh, joining us right now is the sponsor of that bill, New York uh, State Senator Michael Gianaris. Good morning to you. Uh, we have uh, sparred over time about lots of things. I want to maybe spar with you a little bit this time. I want to understand what, you, what, what this bill is trying to do and how it would be different than thinking about this in a federal context in terms of antitrust. Sure. Well, in some degrees, all we're trying to do is match what the federal government has the power to do. Uh, in New York, our antitrust laws are about a century old and were built for a different economy. So we still require um, a, a collaboration of two parties, whether it be through a price fixing mechanism or a merger that stifles competition. Uh, in New York, you still need to have two parties collaborating and conspiring to create anti-competitive behavior. Federally, you don't need that. You can uh, bring an action for unilateral behavior. Uh, and what we're trying to do is give New York the tools to do the same thing in cases where the federal government's not being aggressive enough. Uh, we want to give our attorney general the power to uh, move in this new economy to stifle right. anti-competitive behavior that often is the result of just a single actor acting alone, whether it be undercutting competitors by uh, pricing at a loss just to drive people out of business or in Sen this new tech uh, Senator, economy are there that we're dealing others, with. You are there other all states, sorts of problems. Are there yeah. other states that have similar bills or, or laws in place that would allow them to approach the antitrust issue differently than New York does? Sure, but New York is unique, Andrew, right? We have uh, so much of the economy is centered in New York that we have always been at the forefront of trying to um, create enforcement and set the tone for the rest of the country. What we're trying to do here is deal with these situations where you have uh, uh, behavior that was not contemplated when right. these laws were originally written. No one had even conceived of search engines which could prioritize uh, one's own products over competitors or but, incentivizing but, people or punishing them based on the relationship the, the search engine has to, to right. these folks. So we're Senator, trying to give our attorney general here in New York who supports what I'm trying right. to do. Yeah. Senator, what do you think, though, of this issue of New York or, frankly, and this was a case of California with emission standards many, many years ago, either taking the lead but also divorcing themselves from the rest of the country or trying to create a more powerful uh, force so, you know, some people could say that New York is going to be more left-leaning than other parts of the country. If they go after Facebook, Amazon, you know, if you, do, if you go after all the big tech companies in New York, everybody else will have to follow. Does that seem fair to you either? Of course it seems fair. I would argue the emission standards in California have been a great uh, success for this country in terms of improving our environment. So, yes, the... the and you've never seen it more in history than right now when the president is effectively saying, let the states do what they want, particularly as it relates to the, the pandemic we're dealing with. But also, uh, in terms of the economy, there's nothing wrong with the states in this country stepping forward and saying, here's right. an idea that we think can be done better. Here's a way that we can enforce these laws better to help businesses. I and mean, right. we should all be striving to uh, want uh, small businesses and, and competitors to compete with these big giants as opposed to just letting them rule the roost.